in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends we the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore greet you and welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel we are in the 13th week in the ordinary time and it's thursday the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8 at that time getting into a boat jesus crossed over and came to his own city and behold they brought to him a paralytic lying on his bed and when jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic take heart my son your sins are forgiven and behold some of the scribes said to themselves this man is blaspheming but jesus knowing their thoughts said why do you think evil in your hearts for which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk but that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he then said to the paralytic rise take up your bed and go home and he rose and went home when the crowds saw it they were afraid and they glorified god who had given such authority to men the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends let me begin this reflection with the simple question what is the toughest thing in the world what is the toughest most difficult thing in the world what is it it is to face the truth that to truth about ourselves in front of others the toughest thing in the world is to face the truth truth not about others that's very easy but truth about ourselves in front of others in private at least it's okay but in front of others though man is in search of truth he himself is the main reason for not being able to discern it what is the truth what is truth the famous question raised by pilot rings even today in the ears and hearts of mankind however pilot did not wait long enough to get the answer from our blessed lord the way the truth the life we are interested to know the truth about others isn't it that's why i said it's very easy to know the truth about others and we are interested in it not only interested sometimes we spend a lot of energy time to uncover it but we try our level best 
to escape from the truth about ourselves you see how cunning we are we make use of many types of masks enjoyments and entertainments to distract ourselves silence we detest for silence is a powerful weapon to discover the truth truth can be encountered directly through contemplation or it can also be revealed by god who is truth himself through the prophets scripture or his chosen instruments in the first reading amos chapter 7 verses 10 to 17 read for yourselves bears the truth the contradiction in the life and worship of the people of israel contradiction in their public and private life however he is curtly rejected by amaziah the priest of bethel in the gospel we find a paralytic being brought to jesus unlike the present day doctors the great physician removed the cause before treating the symptoms christ perhaps never healed anyone without first imparting salvation and forgiveness there are various types of sicknesses most of them are the result of sin an unholy relationship with the liar the opposer of truth most of them are the result of sin an unholy relationship with the liar the father of lies the opposer of truth in the sacrament of penance my dear friends confession we are given an opportunity to come face to face with ourselves and discover the real truth in our life now are you afraid of truth let us pray my dear friends today is the birthday of philomena andrade from kemmannu udupi metilda disosa from israel and amulia castellino derebail mangalore we thank god for the gift of their life we wish them happy birthday and we pray for them pray for their intentions also it's the death anniversary of innocent mashia from mumbai may the lord grant him eternal rest my dear friends today being thursday let's pray the novena prayer to infant jesus as we remember all our intentions intentions of our own intentions of our family members our plans and projects our business our children our health proper uh, intentions of our donors benefactors well wishers all those who are involved in this ministry let's pray o holy infant jesus through your life on earth you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power so now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of those who call upon you in faith and trust amen our father who art in heaven 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was at the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O holy infant Jesus bless us and hear our prayers O miraculous infant Jesus look upon us as we turn to you imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we urgently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes, and give us your support and consolation so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Thanksgiving. prayer a holy and most generous infant jesus we on our knees have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands we believe jesus that together with the father and the holy spirit you are our creator and savior Henceforth we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Pray for God's blessing my dear friends. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above may he bless you and the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Have a wonderful day my dear friends. Today at the Infant Jesus Shrine Mangalore we have nine Eucharistic celebrations. beginning at 6 o'clock in the morning then at 7:30 then at 9 then at 10:30 and the fifth mass is at 1 o'clock all these masses will be in konkani in the evening at 4 in malayalam at 5 in english at 6 in konkani and at 7 in kannada also you have the time to make your confession at the shrine See you tomorrow my dear friends bye bye